Number 13, a teacher bought markers at a cost of $3 per set. The teacher had a $2 off coupon to use toward the total cost of the markers bought. Which table shows the relationship between X, the number of sets of markers bought by the teacher, and Y, the total cost of the markers? I like to use these things when we're trying to work with problems like this. Let's go ahead and set up a table. And then we're going to set up a algebraic expression to make this work. So let's look at what we have. We have y equals 3x minus 2, and we set that up because 3x minus 2, it will be $3 per set minus the $2 coupon. So if we can set up that equation, we can just plug in numbers and see if it works. Let's go ahead and just plug 3 in there. Let's look through our answer choices. Now that we have the algebraic expression, we can put 3 in for x. So we put 3 in for x, it will be 3 times 3 minus 2. 3 times 3 is 9. Minus 2 is 7. That matches the first part of our table. Let's plug our second number in there. 9. 9 times 3 is 27. 27 minus 2 is 25. Still good so far. Let's put our next number in there. 12. 12 times 3. 36 minus 2 is 34. Still holding true. And let's check our last one. 24 times 3 we got 24 times 3 is 72. 72 minus 2 is 70. This one holds true. So it looks like A is going to be true. Let's go ahead and look at our other answer choices. And we can use this table to determine our next table. So when we plug in our numbers for our next table, we put 9 in there. We're using our old table. 9, we know that 9, when we plug that into our, our expression, 3x minus 2, it's not going to result in one. Uh, it's going to result in 25, so that makes B not true. Let's go to C. C has three as well. We know when we plug in three, three times three is nine minus two is seven. In this case, they're saying three. When we plug in three, it equals 11. That's not true, so that one won't work. Let's go to our final answer choice. We can plug in nine. There's nine again. We know that nine results in $25, so that doesn't work. So when we look at this, A was our correct answer by plugging into a table. Which table shows the relationship between X, the number of sets of markers bought by the teacher, and Y, the total cost of the markers, A.